Hello everybody, this is Gonoshi Star One, and today we have a little special unboxing video for you. Now, a while back I was on Instagram and I did this little giveaway. And I actually was really surprised about this, but I actually I won the giveaway. Now, I will definitely link the person to channel in particular in the description below, but thank you very much for this giveaway and thank you very much for sending me this little gift. Now, let's open up this package. If you're curious though, you can look on the description of the video itself. I'll send you a link to his unboxing of this same time thing. But what we're getting, as a matter of fact, a brand new series that I'll definitely be streaming as soon as Fire Up Moving Gauge is done. And yes, this will be my first game actually in this whole franchise though. Or my second, since I'll also be trying to be playing. Another game that franchise as well, probably after Dream Team. Okay, it's a bit stuck. Hold on a sec. Alrighty, shall we open this up? It is time to open up and see what we got. Alrighty, it is a bunch of plastic and stuff. Alright, here we go. It is actually none other than The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom it's a collection, Collector's Edition. Yep, special edition. How nice is that? Thank you very much for this little give. Thanks for thank you much for letting me get the giveaway. But oh man, let's open this up. See what's inside. Ooh. Hello, another knife. Necessary to open up this tape and stuff. Now I have seen some videos of Tears of the Kingdom. But I never actually actually never got a chance actually to play the game though. I did play a bit of Breath of the Wild, so this is actually technically kind of the sequel to this game, or it's a prequel. The Zelda timeline is actually really confusing, but it's Zelda. It's known to be confusing. Let's see. The box looks pretty neat. You know, has really cool uh, designs based type of thing as well. I think the guy shot Ganon, I think. Yeah, it's Ganon on there. But here we go. We have ourselves a. Ooh. Oh, it's a po okay. They come with the poster. Okay. But first off, let's look on the side right over here. So here we go. We have ourselves a fun little case to put our little put our game in. As a matter of fact, I have one also for Mario and Rabbids Sparks of Hope, and also for Sonic Frontiers, which is also for a pretty much a disc version, Hot Wheels Unleashed. And also, I believe that's it. No, wait, no, that's not it. Oh, oh, and Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem Engage. I should remember that. I did an unboxing of that video game as well. Actually, I did unboxings of all of them. I should go check out my unboxing playlist. Link in the description below. I should check out all the things I've actually unboxed and actually opened up. But here we go. Here is the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom case. Looks, it looks really cool though. I actually like it. Yep, and nice little fun little case to put the games in. I mean, hey, why not? You know, I like it. Also, Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom is actually a seventy dollars game, so it's actually relatively expensive. It's actually the most expensive Switch game on the market. Yeah, it is definitely seventy dollars. And Tears of the Kingdom is definitely a sought out game. So now that I got this game, I can now play it. And I'll definitely be playing it. That's for sure. So no, I'm actually not going to play it. I just need to open up, open up some spots during my stream, you know, during, during my streams and stuff. But once Fire Emblem Engage actually is done, Tears of the Kingdom will be the one of the first games I'll be definitely be streaming. For on YouTube. I'll be, I'll be streaming this game on YouTube, mostly. I'll save my, I'll save my non... You know, Switch-related stuff for YouTube streams. Alrighty. Here's the game, taking it out of the plastic wrap, and here it is. Here's the game, inside the case. Nice style design and stuff, you kind of can see it. Here's the game. Alrighty, here we go. Let's put the game actually in this brand new case though, because it looks really cool. Because why not? There we go, much better. Now that looks, now that looks really, now that looks cool. Alrighty. It's like there's a poster right here. I think this right here is also right here, I think. Hello. 
What's this? I did see a bit of the video of the unboxing, but I wanted to kind of surprise myself a little bit, so I didn't actually watch too much of it. So I figured it would be more surprising to open up. I'll open this up directly right here. So here we go. Let's open up this right here. I believe actually there are different stuff you're getting. Let's see. You're getting a poster. I did say what we were getting though, but you know what? It's pretty fun to see. So let's open this up. Starting off, we have ourselves. Ooh, okay. This is neat. Okay. Now I have no. I do know for a fact actually this actually is the first Zelda, the second Zelda game in particular to have voice act. Or no, that's second. Third, fourth. Uh, shoot. Well, 2017 is actually when Zelda games started having voice acting, though. That's for sure. Well. Yeah, she had those mostly voice acting. But here we go. Looks like we got a bunch of pins. Okay. Those look like... Well, those are really neat pins. I, To be honest, I don't know what these pins are represented for. But I think these are represented by the four... Person, but the Sheikah maybe or the Yilger, I do not know for sure. Someone wants to actually comment on me on what these pins are based on. Please comment in the description down below and let me know. That'd be great to know what these are based on. I'm not much of a big Zelda, I'm not, I'm not really as person that understands Zelda much, but I would like to actually that kind of sort of information. But yeah, we got pins. Now we have. Oh, this is, the, this is the poster, okay. Well, this is the next, this is actually the book. Now, just like, that's like my Fire Emblem Engage, Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes, and I believe that's about it. Because I never, never did, oh, because that's about it in a way. This book gives us information about the entirety of the game, the characters, good, bad, all that fun stuff. It's a fun little book to shop, all the different stuff. And that's what this book is mainly about. Alrighty, it just opened up. Actually, I think the good news is in particular that actually Susie drew a, my Yoshi with the Legend of Zelda design, which means I have a perfect thumbnail for it. And yep, different designs, you have the characters, you know, all that fun stuff, items. Apparently this game in particular actually allows, apparently this game actually allows you actually to craft various objects together into one. There's Zelda, there's a... Tingle looking character that's not really tingle. A dark rock. Ooh, spike balls. Ooh, more posters type of thing. Okay, tons of fun stuff. I would love to look, show you more of this, but this is honestly a pretty cool book entirely. Okay, now, here we go. Time to see, time to see the poster. Here we go. Posters in here. And, ooh, it's a, it's a black cardboard. Okay. Let us see. It. Right, ooh, what's this? Right here. This is interesting. Let me. Important. For a libel adhesion. Oh, this is a magnetic poster. Ooh, okay. This is a magnetic poster. Okay, that's interesting. Let's take a look what it looks like. So this is the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom poster. I'll put it over here on the side. But here's the poster. Wow. That looks cool. Oh man, man! I actually really, really can't wait actually to play Tears of the Kingdom now. It's gonna be a really fun game actually to play, and actually now I, get, I get finally get a chance actually to kind of play it. I was watching videos in the game itself a little bit, and you know, wondering when I was actually ever gonna get the game or not. I was told by some friends that I should probably get the game and actually play it, and I was like, I don't know, it's pretty expensive, It'd be difficult to kind of get. But that's the good news is I can now actually play the game now. Except don't actually now know I should actually have the game, which is actually is even funnier. But this is what we got. 
We got a book, we got a poster, the game with a nice little case, and then pins. And man, this is actually a really cool game. I can actually, I cannot wait to play it. Thank you very much, actually, for the giveaway and sending me this as a way this giveaway. Like, like, and subscribe for more content. And also, make sure you guys go check out the guy's channel himself. I'll link, I'll link his channel in the description below. And who knows? Maybe, maybe next giveaway he does, you might actually win one yourself. You never know. Go, go follow him on Instagram. I'll send you. I'll, I'll link his Instagram channel in the description below. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you know, all that fun stuff. Just not TikTok. I don't have that. I don't trust it, but don't but go ahead. Check me out. Also, join my Discord server. Come say hello. Actually, heck, if you're a Zelda fan, join the Discord server. Maybe you guys can be there. I should give me some tips on what to do, basically. So I'll be playing I'll be playing the Zelda game kind of semi mostly blind. It would be definitely helpful to have them tips though. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Stay golden.